Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to do a complete teardown and reassembly on the Motorola Moto G. So to remove the back cover, what you'll need to do is right down here in the bottom, you can put your thumb right in here where the charging port goes, and you can just pick up and just start like in one corner, work your way around. and the back cover comes right off. So next what you will need to do is take a screwdriver. This is a Torx T5 is the size of it and you're going to need to remove these 14 screws all the way around here. So now those screws are all the same size so you don't have to worry about getting them mixed up and I wanted to just say quick if you are wondering where to get a screwdriver like this, I'll include a link in the video description where I got uh, a tool set to work on this um, if you're interested in if you need a tool set to work on this or if you're just curious where I got this phone or uh, where I got the parts to fix this phone, I'll include links in the video description for that. Anything that I think might be helpful to you, I'll include links for that in the video description so be sure to check it out. And um, so next what you'll need to do is have a little pry tool like this plastic pry tool here and you can just start like in this upper corner right here and just kind of go under the edge there and get it started separating and just kind of work it all the way down and so you can just keep working around now that it's this far picked up you can just pick right up like that and this back cover comes right off to change the battery what you will need to do is disconnect this connector right here and I like to use a plastic pry tool. You can even use your fingernails if you want but I like using this so it doesn't damage anything. And so you want to pry up that connector and then if we turn this this way and there's a little plastic tab on the battery right here you want to pick it up and peel it and then you just pull up on this tab, excuse my hand, but the battery then comes right up. Next you will need to remove the front camera and what I would recommend is there's this little black part on this connector that you have to tip this way counterclockwise if you're turning the same way that I am and so you have to ever so carefully make that thing pop up and then so it's pretty much so it's standing straight up and down like this way and then you have to go under this front camera here and pry it up a little bit and then you have to wiggle this so that it comes out like that. It's a very thin little connector. Uh, next you may as well remove these buttons here, the volume button. Just make sure you keep track of how they're turned and the power button because they like to fall out anyways. So then what you want to do is remove this blue rubbery piece here. Set it aside and then this connector right here you want to pop this up and then you want to carefully get under this corner right here of this cable and it's just stuck on there with a little adhesive so you want to just carefully go loosen that up this has to come up as well with it and then you just want to pull this out of here this little flat connector and bend it over just like that. To remove the logic board what you'll need to do is have some kind of pry tool. I have this plastic one and you want to start right in one corner like in there and just carefully go in and wiggle around a little bit and you can see the whole thing's wiggling a little bit. So then you want to come over to this one and then when it's starting to, it's got adhesive under it so you have to be careful and then just kind of work it around and and I found that these corners tend to hold a little bit better so if the corners pop loose then you're good and so anyways, just go careful and steady so you don't damage anything there you go what you'll need to do if you have this other new screen and you want to swap things over the only things that you have to swap over is the earpiece speaker here and you can just go right in here beside it push down all the way and just pry it right up just like that and then swap it over to your new screen all you need to do is set it down just make sure that the prongs 
the, are the part that sticks up the furthest towards you are towards the top. And then the other thing that you'll probably want to swap over, unless your new screen has it, is this foam piece right here. And then the other thing is this little rubber piece right down in here. You can just grab that and swap it over. It just, there's only one way it can go. And you're good to go. To reinstall the logic board, what you need to do, just make sure that your board's turned the right way. It can only go one way. And set it in so that the four corners all line up and just push down make sure it's seated down a little bit you don't have to push too hard but just make sure that it's seated down properly next you will want to reconnect this connector for the screen what I found works pretty good is if you just it's such a flat little connector just start like this keep this part up and just push this in first before anything sticks down make sure that it's pushed in all the way there then you can go ahead and stick the rest of this down it's got adhesive everywhere then make sure to push down on this. I'll use this connector tool here. This, and just make sure that that plastic part is pushed down all the way. Next you will want to grab this blue piece of rubber. Make sure that it's sitting down in here just like that. It's only one way it can go. And then you want to grab the volume button. and You want to set it in here. There's only one way that it can go as well. Same for the power button. It's a little hard to hang on to. So they go opposite that little nubbin that's there. You want to turn that up on the power button and down on the volume button. If it makes sense to you, a little extra that's there on each side. Next we will want to reinstall the front camera. So what you need to do is same thing, just keep this tipped up until that gets pushed in all the way that it needs to go and then you can go ahead and push this camera down where it belongs and sometimes it doesn't like to stay until it gets something there and then you will want to take like this pry tool again and just make sure to push that connector down to reinstall the battery just grab your battery push it all the way up tight against the camera here make sure that it's kind of centered halfway this way and this way and then just press down in this little tab you can press down again here that we use to pull the battery off then you want to go ahead and reconnect the connector right here just make sure that it's seated in there squarely just like that to put this back part back on what you'll need to do is just set it on here and make sure to just go around you can hear it clicking in all the way around and then go ahead and put your 14 screws back in all the way around to put the back cover back on what you'll need to do is just grab the back cover set it on here start at the top and just start popping it in all the way around make sure it's good to go all the way around and you're all set thanks for watching